Hi everyone, it's Geek here, aka Greyhack Tutorials, and today I'm gonna show a nice little script for new players that use the default scripts. So if you are a new player and you are using these here, you should watch the video and this will help you a lot. This will work on single player and multiplayer and I will share the source with you guys. So let's start. I have this mission here, my mail, and I'm gonna run Animap here and we see five ports so we are gonna go to your private shop we're gonna look for i think sql would be nice and 1.0.0 and we'll search for the shell and here we have shell shell too many requirements for a short video Yeah, I think this will do, and we will need the source code version. And we will call it like test.src. And we are almost done. So we are going to open with code editor to test.src. We can save it with the program called test. And we will run it if it works. And we will check the port. And it works, so we have basically shell to our target. Fine, it's great. But sometimes when you have the shell, you are not able to do anything. So we have no permissions to run any program. Everything is denied. We can't even look at the file system. And this is why this script is useful for you. So I'm going to go away. And I'm going to take the script and take all of the things we don't need away from it. And yeah, long as you have everything here, it should work. So we are going to use the IP address and the port. And we will verify if this works. And yeah, we have a shell, shell object. For now, I'm gonna paste my code here. And I call it terminal light. So you basically will have some functionality that you have on local terminal, but you can use it remotely. So we have to pass a computer object to the terminal light. So if you result is computer, you can also pass it to the function. But in this time, we have a shell. So we are just going to use the result object and replace this here, result.hostcomputer. And I'm going to save it as a test. And now when we run a test, we have this little prompt here. And suddenly we can execute command. We can look inside the pin. And we see that we don't have execute perms for these binaries as utter or as quest. But this will help us a lot in enumeration and understanding how system works. So we can basically try to check these. So we already have the user's information. So this is a little script that you can use, you can modify it. It's quite simple, I do not want to make it too complex to understand. So you can even use it as a base for your own tool if you like. So you can just add your own functions here, blah blah blah, and then call some function. So for example, I could do new function, my func equals And I could do like print running my own tool. And we could return something, for example. And then I could do if input equals tool, then my func. 
and save my funk I can type why it doesn't work ah sorry I have to write tool so now it's running my own function here but that's a little script you can use and you can find this script from my Discord source code channel and it's free to use and it's free to modify and it will help you a lot if you are using the default subscripts. Hope you, you liked the video and feel free to give comments. I will be posting a new stuff soon. And by the way, I just released my book on my Patreon link below the video. See you guys. Bye bye.